it's for you. We're in Milford Haven, I look like an absolute turd. Hi everyone and welcome to yet another video from me, Craig Bryant. Um, instead of welcome, I should be saying Felcher. Uh, Felcher from Wexford, also known as Loch Gorman in Irish, named after the sat-nav. Um, yes, I am in Wexford, which is uh, just up the coast from Rosslare uh, Harbour or Rosslare Europort. Um, if you'd seen my last video, I was um, on the train. Well, actually, I don't know which way I'm going to put these videos out. Maybe the next video. Uh, I got the train down from Dublin last night, um, and we came through Wexford, and we went through the harbour. You can see it just be behind us there, because um, I've just crossed the bridge just for a walk, because I've got seven hours to kill. Uh, need to get a life, honestly. I need to get a life. Uh, but yes, we are going to be travelling from Rosslare Europort over to Pembroke Dock in Wales. Uh, it should take about four hours. And um, today is Storm Kieran. Now, I was apt well, I still am bricking it a little bit, but I was I was a little bit more scared that today would be an absolute washout, uh, that I wouldn't be able to be even outside. Um, but as you can see, that is the water, and it doesn't look like a storm at all, does it? Um, well, we are in a, it's it's Loch Garmin, and um, if you see, you'll you'll not be able to see it, but I've took a picture, zoomed in on my phone, uh, but. In the background, there are some sandbanks. Now, basically, it's just a protected bay and a protected harbour, hence why it's so calm. But out there, um, right in the distance, I could see some huge waves, actually. Uh, I went down to Ross Air Harbour, uh, the ferry terminal, just to drop my bags off. They've got a little low, uh, luggage storage lockers over there. Uh, you need a €2 Euro coin. They need to advertise that a bit more because I went expecting to be able to like say to somebody, oh, can I just drop my luggage off? There was nobody at the Irish Ferries thing and they had some town hall thing. Um, these guys started smiling at me and like going, hello. They were definitely politicians. I need to look up who me local Wexford County Council slash, and they could have been, they could have been from the dial. Dial. Is that how you say the Irish Parliament? Uh, they could have been the local MP, to be fair. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so basically, I, 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 there was nobody on the Irish Ferries desk. I went to Stena Line. Uh, she was just like, you need a two euro coin, but she didn't have any. I only had three English pounds because I'm such a millennial uh, that I always use my card um, because of I loved the, the Communist World uh, Economic Forum, New World Order that is coming. Uh, but yes, anyway ended up going to these people who were running the town hall thing for these politicians in the terminal. And they were dead nice. And they were just like, everyone's just been really friendly. That's all I've found here. Um, he gave us a two euro coin. Uh, I was trying to give him like two English, three English pounds. And he just wouldn't take it. Oh, there's some dog walkers coming here. I'm going to have to stop. Well, actually, I'm going to keep continuing. Anyway, there's the dog there. Uh, yes, anyway, so I've got seven hours to kill here. Um, without my luggage, so I'm going to have a little walk around, get a burger and things like that, and uh, yeah, I'll take some footage of Wexford, lovely, lovely little town, uh, but I was bored in Dublin yesterday, so I'll probably be bored by the end of today, uh, so yes, I will see you probably when I get, nice doggy, when I get to Rosslare, probably before though.
no way a Gorman in Loch Gorman surely on purpose. Well, the sun is just starting to set now and it is a beautiful, beautiful day. Wexford is absolutely lush. I should come here properly sometime. Um, has one of the best, um, I'm going to stop saying M as well, has one of the best high streets for a town of its size I think I've ever seen, like genuinely really good shops on it. Uh, so just had a loiter about there and then come up uh, to, I don't think it's a cathedral, but it's a very, very large Catholic Church. Uh, there is La Crosse up behind me and uh, the sun, uh, 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 stop seeing air, uh, the sun is just starting to set now and that means that my ferry across hopefully not a bumpy St George's Channel um, is, go um, is going to be okay. Here come some people looking at me weird for filming. So uh, gonna head down to the seaside, well to Loch Arman. People are looking at us like I'm crackers, which I am. I'm gonna just chill for an hour and get the bus back to Rosslare Harbour. I've got me provisions from Tesco. Very nice Tesco as well. It's like a proper lockdown day to day, do you know? When like the best thing that you did all day was going to the supermarket and looking at clothes because all, all the clothes shops are, were, were shut. It today feels exactly like one of those days. I've got some, um, um, stop it. It's probably annoyed you far more. I've just realised now, looking back over some of the videos, I just say M all the time, so I need to, get, need to stop that. Got myself some Tuck biscuits, because apparently they're quite good for seasickness, and got myself a nice uh, big bottle of water, just in case. So this is like the main, this isn't the main high street, but that is on the main high street just ahead. And the thing you probably, well, you definitely can't tell, is it's 11 degrees, which for November feels absolutely boiling. So I've just, uh, yeah, I almost need to take my coat off when I've, when I've been walking, it's that warm, which has been lovely. Uh, but here we go, just going to go and show you the high street before going to sit next to the lock for a bit. And here is an actual railway, that is not a tram, that is a railway crossing, open. As the seagulls again try to kill me, and they won't chill over there. Today has been so different to what I was expecting. I thought it was going to be a washout. I thought it was going to be far too windy. Look, I don't even have my microphone on. I'm right next to the sea. It's, oh, I think that's just deceptive because right in the background, I can see waves right, right out to sea. Uh, there it is. Beautiful Wexford. Got about uh, an hour uh, now from the bus. The bus takes about sort of 55 minutes. Actually, it's quite a long one because it goes all the way around the houses in Rosslare. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to getting on board the Oscar Wilde for the first time as well. Right, I am outside Rosslare Harbour Ferry Terminal again. I feel it's just been a, such a strange day. I feel like I've been here literally for about 50 hours, but it's not been that long. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's dark now. Uh, bus took about 50 minutes just from Wexford, just went through everywhere. 
and I've checked in and there's already problems now. So an hour's delay. I've checked um Vessel Finder um on marine traffic. I've got a couple of them uh, on my phone and it's saying that the Oscar Wilde fifteen minutes ago is basically just off the coast of Wales. <laughs> so um and I'm supposed to be boarding that in two hours, which won't happen so it's running an hour late according to them and um, hopefully no longer than that and um, it is also doing 13 knots i think can do 27 knots or i think 26 knots usually it's quite a fast ferry um which means that it's probably bad weather that's slowing it down um but i asked her if it was rough obviously they're gonna like sort of play it down but i've checked windy.com and uh, it is saying that the wind is going to die down to about sort of 20 to 25 knots ish so that's good hopefully i can get like a little bit of rest when i'm on the ferry because that hour late means that i get into pembroke at the earliest quarter to two in the morning which is ridiculous and then no taxi company. I've rang six taxi companies in Pembroke Dock. None of them. I, I just don't understand the lack of joined up thinking of transport in this country. This is why people don't use ferries that much. I know this is supposed to be for freight, but it is a row pax. That means it's a row, row and passenger ferry, um, which means that passengers should sort of be catered for. Get some weird looks. I mean, yeah, why Why is someone in November doing a vlog in the Ross Lair ferry terminal? I've got no idea why I'm here now. Um, yeah, I've lost all the love for it at the minute. <laughs> anyway, I can see Rosslare Harbour, like town, is that on the hill there. I'm going to walk in there. I think there's like one place open that does food at the minute. So I'm going to go there, get some food now, which means that it'll have digested a little bit. And then I've got some water and some biscuit, uh, some tuck biscuits for the ferry journey. And then that should get me, tied me over to the seedy little walk. I've just looked at it on Google Maps two o'clock in the morning walking through Pembroke Dock at the earliest by the way in the travel lodge uh, which is a 20 minute walk away from the ferry terminal with a case um so yeah we need better joined up transport uh, transport planning there are two arrivals in the Pembroke Dock each day there should be a shuttle bus on um I will eat my words if there actually is a shuttle bus but I can't find I don't think there is one basically nobody's mentioned it um can't see anything online either and there's the wind picking up a little bit please be calm anyway i can't see the ferry even on the on the horizon i've just had a look um, i can see the stena vision all lit up beautiful ferry that um which is at anchorage optima seaways is still here stena nordic is still here not going anywhere tonight i think that's a technical problem now don't think that's to do with the weather but yes i'm a bit sick now i'm not gonna lie um it's been it's been a good you know what i just it's doing it on your own a bit as well like i don't mind you know a day day or two but uh missing rachel my beautiful wife um just missing her and the company um as well but i'm gonna go and walk up into rosslare harbour get some scran and come back um i've left my luggage in the locker as well so that's good so time for some scran that was so strange I really hope you can't hear that copyrighted music, even though I don't make any money off of these videos yet. Um, it is Uptown Girl by Westlife playing in the background. I'm try I was gonna video, that was such a nice uh, hotel with a restaurant in, like really nice. Yeah, I can hear it so loud. I'm trying to run away from it so you I don't get copyrighted strike for it. Um, but yes, that was a, a lovely, the dock hotel um, bar and bistro. Absolutely quality, lovely boy, yeah. Uh, I am walking the opposite way for the fact I am so bored today has been a very very strange day this place is just like a lorry graveyard it's not built for humans don't do what I'm doing I'm here to do it for you so you can laugh at me on YouTube as you lie in your warm bed uh, but I cannot wait for getting on board and getting over and then getting in bed properly tonight in the hotel the travel lodge I'm going in a travel lodge I'm trying to make a budget one there's lobbies everywhere. This isn't for this isn't for humans walking about. Anyway, I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna turn left here, walk into Rosslare Harbour, like village, look at it, and then walk down the steps into the harbour and then I'm gonna see you as the ferry arrives. I'll probably end up seeing it down there. I'm I'm bored of filming this as well. You're probably bored of watching. Um, if you're enjoying it so far, give it a subscribe. If you're not, just turn the video off, that's absolutely fine. 
what am I doing? Boat's not even here yet. Quality view. <laughs> wow. Okay, like I said, and I keep saying time and time again, this is not built on a human scale. That thing's massively flooded. I can't even tell, that is all water. Um, but these places, I know they've got pedestrian access and I know you sell foot passenger tickets, but this is not built for foot passengers. So I think there needs to be probably, I, I know what I was expecting. I didn't expect on the other side of Pembroke Dock to not run a taxi the whole town not run a taxi after like 11 o'clock at night or midnight or whatever it was but this is not human scale so do what I know everyone was being kicking off about you know some of the channel providers the English channel ones um, you know saying oh there's a guy filming there he's probably on my oh it's not a guy filming it's a flipping mirror <laughs> I am so sketchy can, can you tell I'm sketched out I mean like it's not like it's proper bad here but like the lighting shocking. Look at this down here. This is not for foot passengers. Just call it a vehicle only one. You're not gonna lose that much money because there's no, not many idiots like me. But the, the idiots that are gonna do it, some of them won't be idiots. Some of them will just genuinely think this is a good service. Do not do it unless you have to and have good arrangements on either end. For delays, for example, this type of delay build in time and have people to pick you up on either end okay that is my advice to you look at the moon though i mean it never goes up on it yeah i can hear things shaking i mean yeah i'm so sketchy i think that's i think that's just wind we're gonna hope it's just wind there's the terminal there i cannot wait to just get in here and be bored because this is just not human scale whatsoever Right, I'm right next to the sea. <laughs> Over there, <laughs> that light, which I'm not going to zoom in on, is the Oscar Wilde, who has decided to basically probably go down to France and then come up here. Um, I think he's been avoiding, she's been avoiding the weather. Um, I just had a really nice chat actually with some customs of officers and uh, somebody who worked from Irish Ferries. They were just having one of the vapes. So I, just, I, I was like, I'm a, I'm a ferry weirdo. I'm just here to look at the ferries. So they were like, um, when you see a Tusker Lighthouse, just down there, you can see it flash in the distance. It'll be 20 minutes away. Now, we got a text before, uh, probably about six hours ago, saying it's going to be an hour late. And what, what do you know? Well, it's been extended for another hour and 15 minutes, which means we're not going to leave Rosslay until 11pm. Now, fair dues, it's the weather. I get it. I'm not one of these who's going to... Of course, Irish ferries do not control the weather. But <laughs> I've got a walk. I'm going to get into Pem Pe uh, Pembroke Dock probably 3 to 3.15am. I then have to go through customs and pass war control. I'm going to be walking through that town at like half three in the morning. Me as a lad, now men do have more violence against them, is a fact. But obviously, um, I feel a little bit more confident as a man walking around. I'm obviously not going to vlog like this. Like I'm not a thicko, thicko walking around with my phone out um, at like half three in the morning in a, in, a, in a random town. But like walking through a port and then into a town, come on, man. We need to have shuttle buses, even just to the, to the railway station. Or just make it clear that it's not for foot passengers just make it cars only. Um, I really do think that would be the way way forward. If I have a link to, to Pembroke Dock train station, which does have one, it's right next to the travel lodge where I'm staying, or if the ferry's not going to line up with it, like the evening ferries, just don't allow foot passengers. That would be much better, uh, and I think that would be better for the handful of foot passengers. Anyway, I've still got till about 11 o'clock tonight. Here it comes. It's doing 16 knots when it can do 27. I'm just going to run back inside because I've left all my stuff in there. I mean, I don't think anyone's going anywhere in Nicker. There's there's no public transport connections here. Um, so if you're coming here to steal things, but yeah, I probably shouldn't leave my stuff unattended this whole time. So I'm going to run back in there. Um, probably not going to be able to see the thing dock because it it's all 
you're basically not allowed to walk along there, which is fair enough because it looks super dangerous, super sketchy. So I will see you on board the Oscar Wilde. How are the lads? Right, I've had enough now. Um, it is, I can't believe this is the same video. So much time has passed. They sent me a text ages ago saying we're going to leave at 9.45 instead of 8.45. And then we got one that's saying we're going to leave at 11. Well, guess what? It's 20 past 11 now. That was when the ferry was supposed to be leaving. It's still there and I'm not on it. Um, yeah, I think we're a bit tired. I'm not going to lie. Um, so hopefully get on there soon and go to sleep. And finally, here it is. This is not a proper shuttle bus, but this is just a, a little minivan with a little trailer on the back that takes all the foot passengers onto the ferry and then it stays on the ferry and then you get on it at the end and it drives you off, but it doesn't take you anywhere. It just takes you into the terminal. So this is how you board. And yeah, the guy who was <laughs> the guy who was driving it was just slagging it off for being too small and not fit for purpose. And this ship does have multiple vehicle decks. I think it's only got two. And the way that you get on board isn't by a double link span, but actually by this internal ramp, which uh, drops down. So that's what we're driving up here. And then you do sort of a little loop and park up. Right, it's three minutes to 12. Bearing in mind, this was a 20.45 departure. I know it's weather, but I'm wrecked. That whole system is, is a joke. The people are lovely on board who are doing it. It's not a criticism of them, but come on, man. Like, when you print off tickets, can they not just have the, have the cabin on the ticket so then you can just get into your cabin? Why then? We had to do another queue. Like, bearing in mind, we've been waiting two and a bit extra hours and then they didn't tell us and we've ended up waiting an extra hour without any communication whatsoever 
um, so the communication by text was good before then but now like that's extra hour was rubbish and then coming on board and then you've got to line up right I know I'm tired I might feel better in retrospect but I'm just giving you my live thoughts anyway lovely cabin on the MV Oscar Wilde which just joined the fleet this year um, used to be the MV Star of Talink it's like an icebreaker this bad boy literally can break ice slightly and um, but actually i got an inside cabin we are pretty center of the ship i did it on purpose i'd actually prefer an inside cabin because if we're gonna have any movement being on the sides you're gonna get a bit of extra movement so just wanted to just want to be careful anyway i'm gonna go and take some seasickness tablets that's not like an illegal drug it's just a seasickness tablet um but yeah this is what you get for an inside berth uh, they're charging 34 euros on on board there um, I think it was quite a bit cheaper actually. Um, I think it was a bit cheaper than that when I bought it. But anyway, people were just buying them there because obviously they didn't expect to need a cabin, um, which is fair enough. Um, but got two beds. This is actually a four berth. You can see the top berths there pull out. So you've got two bunk beds either side, but really spacious for one person especially. Um, this is all you need. And then if you don't have a bumpy sailing, you might as well have yourself your own toilet and a shower. My days. Oi oi. Like, I did not expect to be doing like a premiere in room review, but um, this is nice, man. This is actually really nice. I'm going to do the quickest deck tour. I might not even cover the whole ship. I just, I don't care at this point. I'm going to go out on deck, watch for leave, and I'm going to sleep um, because I was due to get in my hotel at like 1 a.m. I'm now going to get in my hotel at like 4.30 slash 5am because it's going to be delayed as we get there so um, I need some I need some kip here on board but um, yes I'm going to go and do a, a bit of a tour for you and I'm going to sleep so my cabin is just on the right there it is very quiet because everybody's sensible I'm going to go and get a free drink with me drinks voucher that I've just been given but there you go deck plan of the MS star MV Oscar Wilde and bad boys parked on deck five so all of the, the van and the, the baggage is there not mine because I put it in the cabin um, but as you can see uh, we are on deck nine and there's passenger accommodation on three decks so let's have a look on deck nine cabins down there and we've got a club car stand We're not moving yet. This is a coffee. I don't think it's moving. It's actually quite, it's quite good. That's what, uh, that was its inauguration. I was watching that on YouTube. Out of service, class. It's actually really wide. When you compare this to some ferries, this is massive. It's actually really big. Uh, so down here, you've got the club class lounge, um, which is like Star Plus. I'm just doing a video, mate, sorry. <laughs> I like ferries. <laughs> oh, hopefully he subscribes. And out there, We've got the Stella Nordica. It's absolutely massive, actually, but way or bigger. Right. Down to Decky. Oi, oi. I'm so tired. Boiling's brasserie. Stop doing that. This is where reception is. 
guys. Funny joke. Right, I can speak freely because that is actually incredibly good for a bar. Um, we are looking over the stern. Look at the size. I mean, I do say this all the time, but look at the width of this bad boy and the size of that ramp. I know it really doesn't come across in video, but um, yeah, we're just about to pull away here. So you can see we can't totally do um, you know, a double deck loading on a on a double height link span, but I am not sure if that top one was actually in use um, because there is an internal ramp here. That's what we used anyway. Uh, but correct me if I'm wrong. But this is the only downside of this ferry is the lack of outdoor space, and especially it, it feels still quite enclosed. You've got these sort of it'll be great for the wind, um, and it is such a vast ship compared to say a p and european highlander or causeway um this this would be the similar size area but because this is just at the the aft of the ship so let's let's get ourselves up here i think i'm allowed up here so we're going from deck nine to deck ten don't think i've ever said that before and there is the cypriot flag i don't think the ship has ever seen cyprus before and ah oh, nice what a nice little I like this, I like this area. Now, if I was in a better mood, <laughs> I would definitely, I would definitely be out here. <laughs> but I'm honestly, man. But yeah, that, is, that might even be a deck, deck 11, but as you can see, it's all moved off, so you cannot get to the top deck of the ship. CCTV. Um, but yes, I think we might have been delayed there because let's go look at the other, the other two ferries. That is a nice design, one, man. That is really impressive. <laughs> wow, look at them side by side. So you can sort of get a, a hint for the size of the Oscar Wilde. So that is a good maybe deck or two decks higher. With the that, so we're talking about the European Highland and the Causeway. Uh, remember that the Stena Nordica is a, a part sister of them. It used to be called the European Ambassador for P&O from Boston to Dublin. So it's basically the same design. So that's what they would look like, but the amount of gross tonnage uh, that this one has, so you can see the width of that. Um, you can't see, <laughs> I've got to tell you, the width of this bad boy is considerable. I, I'm maybe two thirds. Um, that is two thirds the width of the Oscar Wilde. But that is a beautiful ferry, but it's not going anywhere. And I think because of that, that is why we've ended up now. Nah, I'm saying, look at the size of that ramp. What? What is he doing? He's taking that away. Right. I'm bored. I've had enough. I'm not bored, actually. There's the opposite of my I'm not bored. Right, come on. I love ferries. I love ferries. And it's not every day you get to see the opposite of the Blessed day, but my days I am so tired. So I'm gonna go to Kip and I will see you if we get to Wales. <laughs> I might come out if there's some huge waves, but I'm probably gonna go to sleep. And carries on.
is a weekly safety drill. Oh, please don't sink. I cannot Any be bothered. On board who will That's a sprite. Free. Thank you. Because of sort of makes up for the delay. I know, I know you can't help it. Irish ferries. I want to enjoy this. Where a crew member will be pleased to explain oh, how procedures hey, hey. assist you in the event of such an emergency. Reet. Uh, the sermon. I go to church, by the way, if you don't know that. I mean, the people who watch this all mostly do, but if you never met us, you probably don't. And the sermon this week from Jonathan Prike was on Jesus, calm and the storm. And I thought, oh dear, Storm Kieran's coming. What a nightmare. This is actually going to have to be a play because it's usually about storms in your life and how Jesus has got authority over everything, basically. Um, but yes, I am also praying. How did Jesus sleep on a, on a boat that was, I mean, like a rickety little tub? How did he go to sleep without one of these? He was like asleep in the corner. Um, absolutely astounding because he was God and he had authority over the waves. So praying for a nice night's sleep, Jesus, please. Um, and oh, I can feel it moving already. I'm going to go to sleep. That's probably that. I keep saying that as well. But I'm a bit excited as well. But I'm going to go to sleep. Sleep well. It's 4 a.m. We're in Milford Haven. I look like an absolute turd. Well, it's not morning. And that's the problem with this. It's not long enough. Um, four hour crossing. Um, at some point you might have thought, oh, I really wish it was over. Um, um, I'm so tired. Four o'clock in the morning. It's like I've had half asleep. And I'm going to go to the hotel and have a another sleep but I'm not even being asleep really so the movement it's the worst movement I've ever had on a ferry um but it's not this ferry's fault it dealt with it fantastically well I've got to say it's a brilliant ferry the room's lovely the bed's lovely the whole of the areas the public areas lovely um it was loads of movement and that's why I've not really had it I, 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 sort of worked out that if I starfished on my back then there's more of my body surface area touching the mattress therefore I'm not going to slide there were a couple of ones that I was like I literally nearly came out of bed but actually did not feel bad at all did not feel seasick whatsoever which is amazing and I think it's all down to eyes closed dark room <laughs> and so you, your eyes don't start getting messed up by oh everything looks still but oh no I'm moving loads uh, it was absolutely amazing. Like, on it, I'm so glad that I've just got over that. So, quite a rough night. Uh, storm Kieran, the end of it. But we made it. Now, I've got to get off this bad boy and see if a taxi's running in this whole place. Because I've I've tried loads of taxi companies, but I need to get to a travel lodge. I just need to get there. And if I have to walk, I like. We're gonna get in in 20 minutes. We've just, he's just been on the tannoy. And actually set me along pretty much bang on like sort of 10 minutes before the time I came on seeing that he's going to be 20 minutes uh, from the birth so 20 past 4 by the time the faff on 15 minutes at least 25 to 5 by the time you get off passport control do you get passport control probably <sighs> I ain't getting to work I'm not getting to that hotel I'm not had a proper sleep like I might have nodded off a couple of times but five o'clock it's got to be. So I'm gonna just enjoy this until they boot out. To be honest with you, very nice, lush pillows, really nice room. I just wish it was longer. That's the problem. That is the problem. Other ferries are just short routes, two hours. Lonica and Ryan. Other ones are overnighters. Belfast to Liverpool, lovely jubbly this is neither it's got cabins but it's too short to really utilize them quick thoughts so tired. right i am in the sea pub which i think is a class name <laughs> is exactly what this is a sea pub um all four passengers were told to come here can't see anyone and then I've asked the guy at reception he said no 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 she's a sea pub 
So just, sorry, I'm just saying that. Lots of people don't want to be rude. So yeah, hopefully get off this soon. Some people have slept out here, I don't. Nah, not for me. But yes, Pembroke Dock is tantalizingly close. My bed is tantalizingly close. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention please? All food passengers, I repeat, all food passengers, please make your way to the rear of the vessel, to the SIPA, located on deck 7. For the instructions, thank you. I'm here at sea pub. There is no other pub on the sea except this pub. Or this pub in this ship. I'm a mess. Well, it's 5.02, no passport check, just walked out. Um, no Ubers, well, as in, I've checked all the taxis and I, the last thing Uber was looking like you could buy one. Pfft, nah, nobody's even at work around here. It's 5.02 in the morning, 5.03 in the morning, and I'm gonna have to walk now to the travel lodge, which is 20 minutes away, down some dodgy streets. So I'm not gonna video that bit, although that would be good crack. If this goes out, you know I've survived or it's posthumously being uploaded by those who love me. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, enjoyed it more than me, no, I've had a good time. It's been good crack. The ferry's amazing, just the whole faff today. Um, but if you've enjoyed it, please give it a like and a subscribe. That would be great. Thank you. I made it. Just waiting for, I've just been on the phone with the receptionist. Uh, shout out to Paddy, who I walked half the way here with. He was going to the station. I don't know what time he's treated. He said his train was half six. Um, I'm so tired uh, but yeah all the best he was telling us about his cancer and I said I'll be praying for you uh, so get well soon Paddy as well thank you for watching everyone see you